Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One, my old barn door. Look how stinking cute this is. I have a box of goodies from Miss Susie Provine to add um, into her booth. Um, and then, this says it's box two of three, so I may be looking for another box. But for now, we'll get started with this one. And then today, I got this in the mail and um let me see it looks like it's a happy mail package so this is from miss Susie. so let me see what she sent oh i know i'm gonna be in love with this oh my goodness okay let me see look at how stinking cute those are with the chickens on them oh my goodness okay let's see okay just a little something something love Susie. oh i love these Look how stinking cute these are. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love those so much, Susie. I'd love to know where you got those. I'd like a big wad of them. <laughs> Look, I love this dyed paper. Oh, how fun are these? Look at the gorgeous doily. Oh my goodness, Susie. Thank you. So oh, look. These are the ones that have the lines in them. Beautiful doily. Oh, thank you so much for sharing these with me. Look at the pink. Oh, such bright, vivid colors. You know, I've tried my hand at dyeing papers. Look at the lavender. Isn't that so pretty? I don't know if the camera is showing it, um, showing how pretty the color is. Look at that with the little dots. Um, but I've tried my hand at dyeing paper and mine didn't come out this vibrant so i don't know if i didn't have enough dye in it look at the coffee dyed filter not coffee dyed kool-aid dyed or i don't know if this is kool-aid or maybe easter egg dye look at this with the grids i don't know if y'all can see all the patterns all the yummy patterns on this oh i love these yellow grid papers yum Thank you so much, Susie. Look, I love this. This is um, from like a spiral bound notebook. And um, it's, you know, how they have the little pockets in them. How cool are these? And I actually, I just used one, one of these in a journal, but it wasn't dyed. This is so cool. It's, it's two different colors with the blues. I love that so much. Ooh, and then I have the yummy grid paper and on the back side that one's grid on both sides but on the back side of this one it's lines oh I love this oh how cool is that I love the way she just dyed it around the edges that's awesome that's a great idea love that oh look at this beautiful this is gorgeous this is like a vintage ledger or lined type paper <gasps> Susie thank you so much I'm so excited I know I've been talking about ordering some papers but these are perfect thank you so much for sharing with me these are awesome I love them thank you so so much okay let's get into the goodies that she's got in her box over here let me see I'm just going to pull everything out. So we have one, two, three, four journals to add. And then this looks like, oh my goodness, you sent me more goodies. <gasps> Wonderful. Susie, how precious are you? Thank you so much. Look at this beautiful sari silk. Oh, yum. That's going in a journal that I'm working on right now. Yes. Thank you so much for that, Susie. That's beautiful. Look at how sweet she wrapped it. Let me see if I can cut it. I know, I know y'all probably just want me to rip open a package every now and then, don't you? <laughs> okay, we're going to skip these over for just a second because I have my camera plugged in. Because, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are so stinking cute. Look at the chicken. Do y'all see that? Oh, I am totally using this on a journal I'm making right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. How stinking cute is that? Oh my goodness, it's a tin chicken. Look at this. Oh, how cool are these? Oh, I love these so much. They're magnetic bookmarks. <gasps> love, grace, and peace. 
Susie, those are so stinking cute. Oh, look at this. This is Mary Engelbright. Look at how stinking cute. There's her little signature or her little copyright. Oh, I love these so much. I love Mary Engelbright stuff. Susie, thank you so much. What a sweet, sweet package. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Those are awesome. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are just spoiling me rotten. Okay, let's dig in and see what kind of journals she sent us. Let's see. Okay, we'll just start with this one. And she always wraps them up so pretty. All right, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, how gorgeous of a cover is this? Look at how pretty that is. Can y'all see that okay? Look at how gorgeous. It's got the book corners and it's got a little dangle here at the bottom. Oh, I love this book. Oh, I love this so much. So, so pretty. Okay, this one is called A Wonder Book. Let me get my information. It's nine by six and a half. It has two signatures. It's a repurposed vintage book. It has 100 in pages. Original front and back pages left intact. The book is left in the original condition with metal book corners, hidden spine to keep the original spine intact. Um, it has... Um, Specialty scrapbook papers, hand dyed and coffee dyed papers, stenciling, sewing, special detail to page edges and lace, handcrafted ephemera, including vintage items used in crafting, lots of space for journaling. And then she leaves a quote, brave men did not kill dragons, they tamed and rode them. How cool is this? Oh, I love it when she does the little, look how cool is this? It's even still got the original um, little, can y'all see that? <laughs> the original little sticker from the, the store that sold it. And I wish y'all could feel this paper. Oh, it feels so yummy. Oh, and here's the quote. And it's a tuck. Look at the pretty paper she used. This is vellum. Isn't that gorgeous? And then look at the gorgeous laces sweet little dragon pocket here with a cool little dangle look at the dragon in the egg how stinking cute is he oh my goodness and then we have the sweet little pocket here that she's done with corrugated cardboard and she's made the little um tag out of the library card this is some of that beautiful paper that she shared with me thank you again how cute is this? It's the Dragon's Den music. Don't get burned when you buy a hat. <laughs> that is so cute. I love her dragon themed journals. She does them so cute and they're so unique. Um, they really, really um, are very, very unique journals and she puts a lot of detail in them. Look at that. This feels like, like dragon scales. Look how cute that little cluster is. How adorable is that with the little castle? There's some of that yellow grid paper. Look how cute he is on the page. Oh, he's leaning around the page. How adorable is that? That's what I'm saying. She gets so creative with her dragon journals. She just does such a good job with these. Look how pretty that is. And it flips open. That coffee dyeing is just wonderful. I love her collage work here. And then look at the dragon eggs. <laughs> this is awesome, Susie. You did a great job on this. And then this folds open and it gives you some dragonology. How neat is this? These would be um, really cool for like Harry Potter fans. This is a tuck here. Um, you know, people who like that type of thing. These would be awesome journals for somebody who loves stuff like that. Because she really does a great job. And, you know, this would be a great men's journal as well. Um, or you can make it a frilly journal. I mean, these are so versatile. There's lots. Look at that with the flames on that fabric flip. 
I love the way she's embellished it there at the top. Yeah, these are super versatile little journals. Okay. Okay. All right, so it's a pocket there, and then this flips open for secret journaling. How cute is that? Look how pretty that is. And it even looks like dragon scales right there and her coffee dyeing. I mean, how, how creative is that? Now, old receipts. And then this is an altered paper clip. How cool is that with the dragon eye? Look at this, like he's ripped it open. So creative, Susie. You did such a great job with this. Oh my goodness, there we go. <laughs> I love that so much. Look at this pretty collaged um, belly band. And then you have the sweet little dragon postcard tucked in. And look at these metal embellishments that she's put on the edge of the page and then you have um, the little dangle in the center of that signature okay I'm not gonna open this up but it's a little booklet on the inside with different pages so it's like a little mini journal sweet little bingo card look at the way she did the edge of that bingo card and then you have the journaling card tucked in this is a lucky a tuck <laughs> Duh, Diane. It's a duck. Look at that. The dragon scales. How cool. What a cute little pocket here. And then you have the little embellishments with the little baby dragons. How cool are those? Oh my goodness. I love the shape of that pocket. These are perfect. Susie, you did such a good job on this journal. Very creative. Okay, and that's, oh, how cool is that? It's a little window, so you can put something underneath there. So neat. Love this blue lined paper. And then you have this, um, like, oh, how cool is this? What a great idea, Susie. I love this idea. That is so neat. I love the way she did that. And then this is the back original page of the book. How cool is this? I love this so much. So this one's called a, the, a Wonder Book, and that's how you'll find it in the shop. And let me unwrap the next one. Y'all, look how pretty. Look at how pretty this is. I love, love, love this eyelet lace on the cover. And then she's got the little... um. Uh, embellishments on the spine. I know there's a name for them and I can't think of it. <laughs> and I love how she stitched all the way around and added that extra little piece of lace on the outer edge. Look at how pretty this is. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the way she did that. Okay, here is, oh, it's a farm style journal. This one's called Successful Farming. It's nine by six with two signatures. Handmade soft fabric book with vintage button, trim, and eyelet fabric lace. 128 pages, and um, the fabric is from the 1800s. Come and visit the farmer and his wife with all their wonderful animals. Ooh, I'm so excited. Y'all know I love me some farm journals. Look at how pretty. I love, love, love the fabric she's used on the inside of this journal. Yum. Look at the pretty laces. I love this windmill paper. Oh, how pretty are these? Have a library pocket and she's done a lot of stitching in this journal and her stitching is just gorgeous look how pretty and neat that is my stitching is very messy look how stinking cute are they oh my goodness look at how adorable and I love the little pocket that she's made it with oh, I'm in love with this Oh, I'm so in love with this. Look at this little flip open. And then, how pretty is this? It's a card, and she's made a little pocket here. Look at that sweet little um, quilted pocket that she's stitched on. And she's added a vintage playing card. And then, oh, these are like vintage photos is what they look like. How pretty are those? I love those. So awesome, and I love that vintage rickrack. And then it's an envelope. I love how she added that to the envelope flap. So creative, Susie. Look how pretty that is. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I'm in love with this. Y'all know me and my farm journals. I just love them. Look how stinking cute he is. And then, y'all, look. It's a pocket in the back. Oh, how cute is she, Miss Spring? Oh, my goodness. I'm in love with these. And I love these vintage um, expense reports and ledgers. Look at the pretty sunflowers. Sweet little tag there coffee dyed paper look at this quilted paper and then she's stitched um it's not seam binding what is this y'all know what it is i always forget the name of it look how pretty that is oh i love that with the ice on the fence post Susie, you did a great job on this journal and there's two more farm journals sitting over here waiting y'all so don't go away you're gonna love these so so pretty Look at that with the pickle jar. Oh, I love that fabric so much. And this flips open. Oh, I'm in love with this journal. Absolutely in love with this journal. This is vintage wallpaper. Look at the chicken stamped on there. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then vintage canning pages. Look at that. I love that. Altered paper clip. Oh, Susie, you have inspired me. Look at that. You have the little dangles. They say love and life. Love the barn in the center signature there. Oh, look. Here's one of the little cards she shared with me. Thank you so much for those, Susie. And then look at that. I love the strawberries. Oh, this one folds open. Oh, I love this. This is a great idea for a pocket. I love, or a tuck. I love that, Susie. This is awesome. And look, she's run ribbon through um, the perforated edge of that book page. A little seed packet, and there's goodies in there. I'll let you open it. And this is the flap of the envelope, and she's decorated it. How cute is that, the way she's decorated that? Now, I'm not going to take the envelope off, um, but she's got it on this... Um, vintage wrapping paper. There's some of the farmer's wife. Actually, I used that one in my little charms. So if you get one of these, you should get some charms to go with it or one of the tassels that I made. Um, they're in my shop as well, if they're still there. Because um, it's going to be a few days before I release this video because I have some ahead of it. Um, so hopefully they'll still be there. Oh look, it's a full pocket, y'all. How cute is that? Love how she's decorated that. Oh, I'm so in love with this, Susie. You did such a wonderful job on these journals. Look at that. Oh, I love that vintage grid paper with the green. And then a cute little tag there. Look how cute that is with the little uh, wheelbarrow. Oh, my goodness. How stinking cute is that? Look how pretty that coffee dyed paper is. And I'm in love with this paper. That is gorgeous. More stitching. And look. That looks like um, Kate Greenaway. And that has a little tag tucked in there. This is so pretty, Susie. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oops. An egg smashed on the floor. Now the hens must lay some more. <laughs> oh, that's so stinking cute. I love it. And look, it's a flip open. All right, so you have a pocket up here at the top. Oh, how stinking cute is she? The Leeway Poultry Book. Susie, what kind of um, paper are you printing these on? I'd like to know. Do share. And then look at this cute little tag down here tucked in this pocket. And then this opens up for secret journaling. How cute is that? And I love how she holds it in place with this little journal card. And then it's a pocket behind. Oh my goodness, how stinking cute is she? Okay, Susie, I definitely need to know what kind of paper you're printing on. Because these prints are beautiful. And I love her little tab. And that gorgeous paper... I mean, everything is gorgeous in this journal, y'all. This is just beautiful. Oh, it's a Dick and Jane, or it's like a little reader book page. Bobby and Billy, and they're on the farm for the summer. Look how cute. 
Oh, these, this is just wonderful. I love this. Oh, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. And then look, this is another one of those pickled asparagus little tip in. How cute is that? Oh, I'm in love with this book. Okay, and this is a um, CD envelope. I'm not going to open it, but there's goodies inside. And she's stitched fabric at the top and kind of ruffled it. Very pretty. And look how she's decorated the flap of the envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, Susie, you've inspired me. <laughs> look at how cute she's done these... Um, uh, flashcards. I love that so much. Unexpected friendships are the best ones. Yes, ma'am, they are. I love that so much. And look at the cows. Cowbells. It's a little um, ideals page with a cowbells poem. I'm loving this journal. Edith Holden. And she's done stitching on it and made a pocket here. Look at how pretty. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. And then look at that center. These are excellent book pages. I mean, you could do mixed media on these. These are super thick. And then you have the little horseshoe dangle on the center there. So pretty, Susie. I am in love with this journal. Oh, look how stinking cute. Is this from the, um, the Laughing Cow Cheeses? How stinking adorable is this? She's made a band. I love that so much. Oh my goodness. And look at this. How pretty is that? That's a tip in. And you have the little rooster playing card. Oh, I am so in love with this journal, Susie. It's so pretty. Look how pretty. And then, oh, look how gorgeous this belly band is. Oh my goodness. How pretty is that? That's from a snippet roll, I think. And then look at these old, old American Farm Yard Evening. How pretty is that? And then look at the sheep, and that's a vintage postcard. And whoever wrote it wrote upside down on it. <laughs> How cute is that? Um, from 1913. That is adorable. I am in love with this journal. Y'all, I'm jealous of whoever gets this journal. Look at these. How stinking pretty are they? I am loving these. Susan, I am really, really curious. I love that by local. Um, I'm really curious as to what paper you're using to print these on because these prints are awesome. Look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. That one flips open. And then she's got the lace there. Oh, look at that beautiful little heart with the lace on it. And she's tied it in with the bull pin. Oh, my goodness. Susie, this journal is stunning. Okay, so this one's called Successful Farming. And that's how you'll find it in the shop. Let me grab the next one. Okay, we have another farming one. Look at how pretty this is. This is some of my most favorite fabric. And look at this beautiful band that she's added um, as her closure. Is that gorgeous or what? Do y'all see that beautiful flower? Oh my goodness, I love that so much. So it just slides right off. And then you have the lace on the spine. Look at that. Isn't that the best fabric ever? I'm so in love with it. And then look at all those laces. Okay, let's see. This one's called Life is Better on the Farm. It's nine by five and a half. Two signatures, handmade soft fabric book with special handcrafted button closure, 138 pages, and it has fabrics in it from the 1800s. Um, and I'll I'll let I'll leave this in here for whoever gets the journal. So she's got that beautiful windmill paper. Look how pretty that fabric is. This is some of my most favorite fabric. Oh. I love these so much. And look at that um, library card. All right, we're going to flip a little faster because this one's very similar to the last one. And uh, I have a different playing card, but it looks like the journal cards are very similar. So we might can flip through a little faster because I know I kind of took 
I always take a long time when I'm flipping through farm journals because I love them so much. <laughs> and it's a pocket in behind. Beautiful um, altered paper clip. How stinking cute are they? Oh my goodness. Beautiful sunflower playing card tucked in that. Love the strawberry paper. And again, you have this wonderful flip. Lots and lots of sewing. And then the recipe cards. Oh, how pretty is this? A weekly for everybody. So this is like a vintage, I don't know if it was a vintage magazine, but I love this so much. Look at that. It's a tip in. Oh, I could sit and look at these all day. I love this paper. Susie, do tell. Where'd you get this paper? I love that. It's so pretty. And she's got stenciling and stitching, peas and beans, and the vintage receipts. Oh, I love these so much. She's oh, I put the ribbon through again. Here's some of that gorgeous paper. Oh, look how she's done the center of this signature. I love this trim that she's put on the edges of these pockets. Look how pretty that is. And then you have this gorgeous, um, oh, it's, she's got them on brads. How stinking cute is that? That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I am so inspired, Susie. Okay. Let me see if I can get him to fit all the way back down in there. Okay, and then on this side, you have a double pocket. How cute are those? Oh my goodness. And I love how she backed it with the same paper she made the pocket out of. And then look at this. Happy days at the farm. How adorable. And then you have the dangle in um, from the center of that signature. Okay, we're going to flip faster. Altered paper clip with your seed pack. She's again decorated the flap of the envelope. I mean, how pretty is that? Oh my goodness, I'm in love. I mean, couldn't you just pinch those cheeks? And I love this with the raisin box. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Very creative, Susie. Love this. And you can use this as a tuck. And look at that teeny tiny little bow. beautiful tag oops and it's a, a Rita flip I love this so much this is from 1933 how cool is that then you have that pretty pocket with a tag tucked in there ideals magazine page with the strawberries yum look how pretty that is and that's a tuck didn't she do a great job on these journals I'm in, oh, I love this paper, Susie. You have to tell me where you got this paper. Look how pretty is that. That's one of those quilted hearts. Oh, so gorgeous. I'm so jealous of whoever gets these journals. These are awesome. Okay, let's see what this is. This is some kind of, a, okay, it flips up. Management of growing chickens or chicks. Okay, so it flips up. This paper is awesome. Susie, please tell me where you got this paper. And then this opens up, or it's a pocket. And then this opens up for extra journaling. I love this so much. I know, I've probably said that a thousand. Oh, it's a pocket here too. How pretty. How pretty is she? She's just gorgeous. Oops. There we go. Make sure nothing's bent. And then... Okay, that one's not a pocket behind. Oh, I'm in love with these journals. Vintage wallpaper with the doily and the chickens. Old McDonald had a farm. Ooh, and it's a full page pocket up here. And you have a lot. How stinking cute is he? Add to his elaborate plumage. <laughs> oh, look at the bunny on the back. Oh my goodness. I love that. And then you have the cow pocket with the vintage playing card that you can use as a tuck. And then you have these gorgeous journaling cards. Susie, this is gorgeous. Your CD 
um, envelope with the ruffle at the top and the beautiful um, embellishment on the flap. Yes, please, please tell me where you got this paper. <laughs> I love it. Look how pretty this belly band is. And then again, you have one of those gorgeous postcards. So pretty, Susie. You did an awesome job with these. Awesome. Oh, I thought it was a belly band, but it flips open. Look at that. How stinking cute is that? I love that washi. <laughs> I love that so much with that banner. What a cute little pocket. And then look at her with her little sheets and goats. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous journal, Susie. I love it. Where are we on our time? Ooh, I gotta hurry. I got one more journal to get through. It just might have to be a little bit longer of a video because y'all know I just love love the farm style ones how cute is he market fresh and then look at that I love this I'm in love with this paper Susie you have to tell me where you got it all right so this one what did we say this one's called life is better on the farm let me grab the next one real quick okay you're gonna be excited about this one too I love 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 the tie that she's used to close it this one's called freezing and canning it's eight and a half by five and a half with two signatures it's a repurposed book with embellished cover and handcrafted closure 164 pages with some of the original pages left intact those were the days buying sh bushels and pecks of produce to can for the family a pint a pound the world around how much do we need to harvest or buy then the rage of freezing came into the picture. Let's take a journey of how hard families work to preserve their food for winter. Oh, I love this so much. Y'all are going to love, love, love the cover of this journal. I've, I've peaked. <laughs> okay, so this is the closure with the band with that gorgeous embellishment. Love that, Susie. And then look at this little book. But first, look at how stinking cool that is. Um, I actually made some of my charms. Let me see if I have it in here. I may have already used it. Nope, there it is. So I made one of my charms with this very same picture. <laughs> How stinking cool is that? Okay, and then on the outer, um, on the front cover, you have this little booklet with Grandma Canning. I love, love, <gasps> look, she's put all these little pictures in here of Grandma's canning. How cool is this little booklet? Oh, I love this so much. Look at that. How stinking sweet is that? Look at that. I mean, that's an operation right there, buddy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, so this is the spine. So she's left the original spine intact. And I love that she's used this book. This is awesome. Freezing and Canning Cookbook. How cool is that from the Farm Journal? Love, love, love it. So these pages are original to the book. You have the beautiful library pocket and card that's coffee dyed. I think this page might be original to the book and this one as well. I love that she's left these in here and it gives you the copyright date from 1964. And then she has this beautiful lace on the edges of the page sweet dreams and coffee in the morning okay that was hard to read but it's so stinking cute and I love the little coffee cup washi she's used there and then I love the little sack oh how cool is this it's a little canning book how neat is that look my mother had this exact pot <laughs> makes me miss my mama okay let me see let's do this this way so we don't bend the page look at that beautiful coffee dyed paper kool-aid dyed with the um can you see the grid marks on there hopefully so beautiful stitching collage band here oh how cool is that it's a spam card how stinking cute and she got the blue ball cookbook home canning guided she's made 
um, a little tab out of it. I love these. I love these so much. Look at how pretty that is. This is gorgeous, Susie. I'm in love with all of your journals today. These are awesome. Look at the extra little bits that she did on the edges of the pages. Freezing and canning cookbook. Love this, the way she used the ball box and the canning directions. I mean, how stinking cute is that? Look at that jelly jar. I'm in love with this. Oh, okay. I thought I missed a page, but it's attached. How cool is that? That's a flip. Oh, look, she used one of those Mary Eagle Bright ones. I love that so much, Susie. Oh, I am super inspired by this journal. Oh, look, this is a super old little canning cookbook or jellies and jams. I don't even know how old this is, but you have the little recipes in there. How stinking cute is that? I love this. She's used this off of the inside of, of the book, of the original book cover. How pretty is she? Okay, so it's a pocket up here. Isn't she gorgeous? There's a pocket in the back that she's put a tag with a um, recipe on. And then this flips up. How stinking cute is that? And so there's a hidden pocket right there. Oh, I love that so much. Susie, you did a great job on these journals. This is a tip-in. These are beautiful, beautiful pages. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love this so much. Look at that. So stinking cute. How pretty is that? Oh, this is so cool. Is this a napkin? Oh my goodness. I think this is a paper towel that she's um, dyed and made a flip out of. How stinking neat is that with the little ball cannon jar up there? Oh my goodness. So creative, Susie. Five fat turkeys. <laughs> okay, this one is a flip out. I love these so much. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm fighting fa famine by canning food at home. I am proud. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, this is super cool. All right, so it's an envelope, and there's something in it, but I'm not going to take it off. I love how she's collaged on it, and then there's a pocket here. Look at how stinking cute that is. All of her journal cards are just amazing. Look at that teeny tiny journaling card right there. How cute is that? I love the way she's done this, and I love how she's torn the um, envelope flap. So very detailed. Okay, this is a pocket, and you have lined paper in that pocket. And then this is a pocket. You have one of those, oh, love the rooster pocket. I mean, the rooster uh, recipe card. And then here is a recipe card lined on the front and the back. So stinking pretty. This is awesome. I know this. Um, video has gone on a little long but these i could just sit and look at all day long these are the types of journals that i absolutely love look at that i'm late but dinner won't be <laughs> that's back in the day where he was like why is dinner not ready if my husband walked in and said that this day and time hmm, i'd say uh, it'll be ready when you get in there and make it no i'm kidding well actually I probably would, but he would never walk in and say that to me. He would <laughs> he would not disrespect me like that. <laughs> Very pretty. I love the way she did the center signature. Look how cute she is. Appetite, appetizers, pickles, and relish. Look at that old freezer. How cool is that? 
Look at that. I love these so much. I know I've said that a thousand times, but I love them that much. Eclipse Wide Mouth. And then this opens up, and I'm not going to open it. Uh, so you have to get the journal to see what's inside it. I love this with the sandwich baggies. That is so cool. Lines page, and I love this beautiful belly band. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you have this gorgeous postcard from 1952 in the orchards. Picking oranges. And I love this. I love how she does these little books. So she just adds all kinds of different papers. And then she just takes the last page and she tucks it down into this little band. How cute is that? I love that so much. This is a pocket with lined paper. I'm not going to scoot it out because it'll take me a minute to get it back in. I love this. And then look at this cute little tag. Gulf Wax. That's for canning. <laughs> And then you have the strawberry recipe card that I love. Pretty lace on the edge there. And then these are original pages to the book. And that is the back of the journal. So this one is called Freezing and Canning. And so that's how you'll find it in the shop. If you have any comments or questions for me or Susie, leave them in the comment box below. Um, please like and subscribe for me if you will. And I thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you get to grab one of these journals because they won't last in the shop for very long at all. Love y'all real big.